Hey everyone, it's Mike from Get Fit Mike. Uh, first vlog of 2014. Um, and also um, uh, anniversary uh, because now it's been one year that I've been making my vlogs um, and uh, staying accountable for my fitness and my nutrition and overall my health. Um, so that's a really good feeling that a New Year's resolution last year actually stuck the whole year and is going into this year. So uh, usually they fail, but um, I guess I won. <laughs> that's a good win. Um, so I just want to give a quick update with the holidays and that. I was out of town. I went back home to Ohio for uh, for almost two weeks. Um, I uh, ate whatever I wanted there, but I actually didn't do that bad. I only went up five pounds, which to me is fine. My original goal was to not gain anything, to work out every day and then eat healthy. But um, when I got home, I had some good family news. Uh, uh, and, and so it kind of detoured the desire to even work out or eat healthy. It was really a time of fellowship and spending time with family because we had some good stuff going on. Um, so, so it was what it was, but since I don't get to see my family, but maybe twice a year, it was good. Um, <clears throat> so no guilt. And if I don't feel guilt, I'm my own biggest critic. So if I don't feel guilt, then to me, uh, it's fine. Um, so, uh, January, uh, we just got back in town two days ago, three days ago. Um, so tomorrow on Monday, uh, January 6th, we will be starting the Daniel fast. My church does it starting on the first, but we are starting late since we were out of town. Um, kind of hard to do it when you're traveling, especially driving like 12 hours in a car, um, because of the limitations on what you're allowed to eat. So we're starting, we're going to go grocery shopping today. And, uh, my wife and I will be doing it for the remainder of the month of January. And then, uh, we have some pretty good reason to want to eat vegan after that. So we'll see how well we both do in keeping up with that. Um, as far as workouts go, uh, I'm going to try to find a good balance this month with working out. Um, in December, I was going really hard doing some doubles and, and every day and, you know, hitting a lot of working out. But my knees were starting to hurt. Uh, my back, um, I was starting to have some issues. They've kind of gone away, thank God. Um but I was, I think, pushing myself maybe a little bit too hard. Um, but again, I could tell a difference, like in my muscles and stuff, when I flex, I actually have muscles now. So, I mean, it's a good thing. Um, but my focus for January is going to be to lose body fat, um, which I've been saying that, but I knew with the Daniel fast, that's really what's going to, what's going to help. Um, so the game plan is to eat, you know, Daniel fast food. So it's all like fruits, vegetables, um, whole grains, nuts, seeds, that kind of stuff. So like no meat, no dairy, no alcohol. Um, so to do that for this month, um, and then my workout goal is just one hour a day. Uh, I can do seven days a week. Bare bone minimum is four days, but really my sweet spot's going to be five to six. So I can take a day off. Like if something comes up, um, <clears throat> for example, I have a doctor appointment tomorrow morning and I'm only going to be at work for about maybe five hours. So I'm not going to work out in the middle of the day when I'm only there for five hours to begin with. Um, because that's taking an hour out to work out plus showering and that. So that's bringing me down to like three and a half hour work day. So I'm not going to work out tomorrow, but, uh, the plan is Monday through Friday is to do boot camp um, at my job. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, I'll work out from home my camera keeps slowly tilting down. <laughs> and then Saturdays and Sundays, I will uh, work out from home. And it'll be maybe like some cardio, um, some weight training, some core, some stretching. So, uh, you know, whatever I feel like doing, basically. So uh, that's kind of the goal. Um, it's just to keep being consistent. But for this month, it really is Daniel Fast and then one hour a day. I think if I do that, the one hour a day, I think will maintain what I've gained as far as muscle goes. But I really think eating clean, eating Daniel fast, that'll help with the fat because my belly's gotten a little bit big again. And so I have muscles like in my chest, my back, my arms, but my belly got a little big again. So it's time for that to go down and to cut cut some fat. So that's the game plan. Um, I'll weigh in next week. I, when I came back, I weighed in. Um, but I'm going to weigh in again tomorrow morning as kind of like a final count because I will be getting a last supper in today uh, before I start Daniel Fast. So um, 
So I will weigh in tomorrow, but I'll record my next video next weekend and I'll tell you what I weighed in at on Monday and then whatever day I weigh in next week. Um, and I'm also going to try to not weigh myself on a daily basis, just to weigh myself once a week, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like on Saturday morning or Friday morning if I know I'm going to cheat on Friday night. Well, wait, no, I'm not going to cheat with Daniel Fast. Dang, that's true. I can't cheat with Daniel Fast because it's a, it's a spiritual fast. So no cheats for the next three weeks once I start. That's point of a fast, huh? All right, so never mind. Well, I'll probably just wait on like Saturdays or something, Sunday. All right, so I will see you all next week. But uh pray you're having a great 2014. Um, if you didn't stick with it last year, stick with it this year. It can definitely uh, be different. Um, all right, y'all. God bless. Bye.